Well, basically, I've tried to find a way that I could help, you know, here in South Carolina. I mean, this is a thunderbolt. I mean, the whole campaign, all the campaigns, you know, centered and focused on South Carolina for this primary. Uh, and because I happened to be here, I was looking for a way that I could help. Um, I was just so impressed with this guy. And so, uh, you, you know, wanted to do something that I could help. So I went down there. And I met with some of the uh, coordinators, and they said, well, what can you do? I said, well, you know, I'm sure you have all your media and your, your stuff covered, so basically, I can cook. <laughs> and Bill and I came up with a name, you know, Barack Obama Q, because we thought it sounded good, and we came up with this logo, which steals the Obama logo and puts a chef's hat on, on top of it. So Barack Obama Q. Homeboys for change. That's our deal. You've seen our trucks and signage, and now I'm running around and got hats made and some aprons. And we feeding the crew. We feeding <laughs> like 150 people that work at the Barack Obama State Headquarters. All the volunteers and staffers who are here, um, push you know pushing the campaign forward. And uh, the campaigns cut us a couple of checks because they appreciated it, you know what we've done, but. Uh, Basically, we raised our own money. O'Neill, did you already hand us the keys? I gave them to you a minute ago, buddy. Maybe I still got them on the pocket. Sure to hear you. All right. Well, we'll see you at Bill's. Okay, buddy. Um, Your phone's ringing. Hold on. My phone's ringing. Man, you need to come on over here. Come over here tomorrow or something. Help me out. Last day tomorrow. That'll be fine. We're going to serve up another hog tomorrow. We're going to do it today. Yeah, we got one pig that's ready now. We're going to sauce it now and go serve it this evening in Saturday's primary. So that's it. Doing pretty good. People like the food. You know, a few guys gave us a few grand and the campaign gave us a little bit. So we about, you know, I'm a little out of pocket. Bill's a little out of pocket. But I mean, we expect it to be a little bit, but it's cool. We're having a good time. It's something to do. I th and I think our guy's doing great. I think Obama's doing pretty good. He's, I think he's up about 18 or 20 points. So of course, you know, depending on who turns up. All right, boy. Later. Bye. My little brother, Kel. Lifesaver, man. I don't know what I'd do without my brothers here. Good to see them. I mm -hmm. missed them for four years in Brazil, you know. They've been over here cooking with me. It's a total volunteer thing, you know, and various people have been going down there serving with us and helping us. It's definitely a concrete way to participate because they are just, uh, when we get there every afternoon with the food, they're just ravished, you know, they're like hungry. Hey, buddy. They on the way over there with the sauce. Yeah, how's it going? They got the vinegar, but that, I haven't put the pepper in there yet. I have to bring the pepper. I'm coming in about 10 minutes. But they got the sauce on now. You know, I like to get the sauce on him as soon as he's turned, but he looks pretty. We go haul him up, haul him over there with the Barack Obama Q truck, baby. And open him up and serve him. Heat him up and serve him. Just like we did before. With white bread, yeah, that's it. Aluminum foil and white bread. That's a good one. How's the sauce, guys? Yeah, I've been looking at it, Lay been looking at it. Woo! Okay, let's let that cool. Let's turn that off. Essentially that menu is. A gallon of vinegar, a box of salt, a box of a black pepper, a box of red pepper, cider vinegar, and salt. Well, I salt my hog before, so the hogs rub down with salt. We're going to put another one on when we go over that so you'll see that process. So as soon as these onions and peppers and all, as soon as this cools down now, we're going to add the pepper. So the secret is to let this sauce cool down, room temperature, then you put your pepper in, then you put it on the hog. Only vinegar, no mustard, no ketchup, nothing pasty. It's a, what you call a transparent sauce. You can see the base of it is very transparent. Look at it, see? Mm -hmm. and that really brings that, that pork. Oh, um, yeah. oh, yeah. Really big, puts the zest, that real pork meat and vinegar just go together. After Nevada, New Hampshire, the last couple of weeks, he lost some momentum because he definitely had the big mo after Iowa. But uh, I think he can regain it in South Carolina if he has a big win here. And he's got to because Super Tuesday, right after. Yeah, that's, that's the deal right there. Guys, look at my mailbox. I'm 
Boy, well, look at that. Isn't that pretty? Look at that low one in there. Mm -hmm. Woo, baby. Look at there. Tenderloin mixes in there. <laughs> this is here is cooked. You really so you're mixing up, the sauce in now. Yeah. Mixing the peppers and the yeah. vinegar based juice. Look at that. This is all loin. Let me see if it's loin right. Mmm, it's a loin. <laughs> well, we were, let's say, we were at a grocery store the other night getting stuff, you know, getting supplies. Remember that <clears> big <throat> fat guy who had, the, had that big thing, thing? And I had my big Obama button on. The guys had their Obama hats on and everything. We had a He just like went. God. <laughs> no, he didn't. <laughs> yeah, like that. I just looked him back until he looked away. You know, it was like he was so disgusted. You know, he couldn't believe I could be for a Muslim black guy to be president of the United States. I'm like, you know. No, I told him then, I said, look, show him eating some pork. Now don't put all them Muslim rumors to rest. And they were like, it would, wouldn't it? Hey, hey, how you doing? Good, thank you Yo, so much. Here. All right. Hamburgers. Hamburgers. The hamburgers are good, but the chili, the best chili I've ever had. Ever. Oh! No, I'm not kidding. This gentleman is incredible. It's terrific. <laughs> he has fed us nearly every night that we've been here for the last couple of weeks. I mean, he is great. <laughs> and he's also got some of the best barbecue I've ever had. Good, enjoy it. Pit cook, Barack Obama Q. Barack Obama Q. We have renamed South Carolina Pit Cook Barbecue, Barack Obama until Saturday. How are you today? I'm good. It's good to see y'all again. Excuse go ahead. But I don't want to put my hand. You can do it. You're too dainty. How about your hand ain't gonna hurt them skin. In fact, it's sweetening it up real good. That's good. You got it, man. Perfect. I'm gonna use my hands, I think. Go right ahead. Except the home. Yeah. Uh, actually, normally everybody picks the pig. But these Yankees won't eat it if you put your fingers in it. So we, we do it with the tongs. Thanks a lot. Hey, you're welcome. Get some more. Skin. Skin. Your parents from down south. Right. With a little bit of meat in there. You know what I'm saying? You got your skin. Ooh. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Try it and tell me what you like. <laughs> Take your way back up. Hey Gary, that's the stuff. Good? That's what I came for. Okay, baby, you got it. You know I can't lose weight because of your dinner, right? Uh, that's all right. <laughs> Only through tomorrow, right, Gary? Oh, okay. Hey, man, this guy make the best hamburger, I'm telling you, man. <laughs> I never had a hamburger like that in my life. <laughs> man, don't put me on TV now. <laughs> I owe too many people. No, no, no. No, no, no. no. <laughs> Nobody on us. Just, just between us. <laughs> all right, thanks a lot. <laughs> Well, here we are down in South Carolina with a chance, one time to do something. You know, I think they leave us out of all the general elections. We don't really get a say because they don't, they don't even, they just say, okay, South Carolina, they just, they just no, they're not, they don't believe we can win in this state. So here's a chance that here this week, we got a chance to really make a mark.